Hello everybody, today we will see the man, uh, the man Whitney U test, and sometimes it's called the Wilcoxon Rangsan test, and it is usually used to compare the difference between two uh, independent samples when the sample distribution are not normally distributed, and as well as uh, when the sample size are small, which is usually less than 30, and it is considered to be the non parametric equivalent to the two sample independent t test. So this tutorial will provide and explain how to perform a Man Whitney uh, test using our studio. Our studio. So for this uh, sake of tutorial, uh, I will use 12, pa 12 patients that are random uh, randomly split into two groups of six. One, two, three. One, two, three, six. Here also uh, to six that uh, assigned to receive the new drugs. Yeah, here is the new drug and as well as here is the palace or the effect pill or it's a control, sometimes control. So, uh, in order to see the patient uh, records and how many uh, panic attacks they, they may have uh, over the course of one week, one week. So, and at the same time, uh, uh, we will uh, see their uh, result, especially we will discuss briefly uh, the result. And there are two ways to uh, run the Martin or to perform the man with me U test uh, in our studio, but both will lead uh, or will generate the same outcome. But the, this one is very easy and I will only uh, stick to this uh, uh, method, to this method. So you have to create a vector for each group, that means for a new and here also for a new drug and for a placebo effect pill or uh, control. So uh, you have to do uh, this one uh, as you see as you see here in the uh, screen. And so do for both groups uh, create a vector. So let's create also here. Yeah. And uh, uh, let me briefly explain that. Uh, 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 usually, the, this this method uh, or the Wilcox text method is usually considered by default it is as two-tailed hypothesis test. But if you want to run one-tailed hypothesis test, you can also mm, you can also do or you can also perform using other studio. But let us first see the result. So, in order to run the result or generate the result, you have to say Wilcox dot test. And right here is a new drug and also is the placebo. So write, uh, write this syntax and run. So it will give you some result. Here is the test statistics is equal to 30 and the p value is 0 0.468. 0 0.68. So since the val this value is greater than 0 0.05 we fail uh, to reject the null hypothesis and at the same time it shows us uh, or it is tell to us that we don't have sufficient evidence to say that the number of panic attacks experienced by a patient in the palaceo group is uh, different from the new uh, drug group drug group so and uh, if you want to run the one tail as I, uh, as I told you before by default, the Wilcox dot test assumes uh, you want to run a two-tailed test, two-tailed hypothesis test. But um, you can specify, you can specify alternative is equal to less or alternative is equal to more uh, uh, to run one-tailed test, one-tailed test. So uh, let's uh, again generate. Uh, create this uh, vector and run here and again also run here. So as I mentioned you as I, as I mentioned before, if you want to run a one tail test, so you have to do new uh, and palaceable, then you can write alternative as equal as to less alternative as equal to less. So it will give you one tail test, one tail test. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, which is which is not appropriate one. So here is the Wilcox dot test, and again also alternative equals to less. So let's see by uh, 
coming through upper. Yeah, and as you see here, the test statics still are the same, but the p value, the p value is uh, 0.234, which is exactly half. Uh, 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 half as large as the previous one. Let's see the previous one. I don't know, it's 0.468. Yeah, it is half uh, of that one. So, half of this one. So, and again, uh, it's also uh, the p value, since the p value is greater than uh, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, we would, st we would still fail to reject the null hypothesis. And at the same time, it, show, it tells to us that. We do not have sufficient evidence to say that the number of panic attacks experienced by the patient in the new uh, drug group was less than that of the patient in the, uh, in the control or in the uh, palatable uh, group. Palatable group. Uh, so this is all about the Matney, uh, the Man Whitney U test uh, uh, for a comparison of uh, two. Uh, independent samples to independent samples and uh, uh, thank you for watching and if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address uh, me through my email at gmail.com thank you for watching